I think it shouldn't be surprising when publics bring lots of various concerns. So I think there's a tendency, especially in the GMO, non-GMO debate, to think that anyone who's anti-GMO is also anti-science. Um, and I think that that's the wrong inference to make. Um, there can be people who completely understand it, but for different kinds of reasons, um, just don't feel comfortable with it or think that it sort of uproots my life too much. So an example is something like um, how different farming, farming practices might change communities and the labor practices within that community, how different farmers um, bring their skills and knowledge and, and cultural and familial traditions to working the land, and how is that changed um, by CRISPR? And that's, it's not about science, right? It's not being anti-science. It's recognizing that this technology and all technologies actually shape how we interact with the world and how we interact with each other, and, ch and changes in that sense really change who we are as people and how we relate to each other. So I think farming is actually a really good example of something that at a local level has its own value system and its own approach. And I think it shouldn't be lost on, on, on us in this conversation that people who are resistant to give that up or who see a sacrifice in giving up that kind of approach to working with the land um, might experience that as a loss. And it has nothing to do with misunderstanding the science um, and everything to do with uh, what they perceive as something of a, an assault to their cultural and familial traditions. And the same goes with what we eat. So, um, well, I, I don't want to go on and on, but the idea that what we eat is very much rooted in our cultural and familial traditions as well. And when there seemingly is an attempt to change that, to radically change what's on your plate, that's perceived as something that's deeply personal and, and something that would change, in a sense, who you are and how you engage at the dinner table with your family. So again, that, that's not an anti-science sentiment, but it is one that we should, that should be on the table, so to speak, when we're having these conversations about whether CRISPR can save the world. It's gonna change it, um, and we should, at least acknowledge the ways in which it will change how we relate to each other um, as in our labor and even as we just have dinner.